morning and welcome again to our Reaching the Storytime. I'm Miss Nancy here from the Palm Springs Public Library going to read to you today. And we have my little pal here, Bobo. He wants to say hello and good morning. Hello, Sophia, Gustavo, and Emily. Good morning, good morning. All right, let's go and get started with that first story. All right, are you ready? Warm up your hands and get out the sillies and the shakes. And clap because it's a great day out there. to all your friends, family, teachers, fellow students, cousins. Hello and good morning. It's great out there, isn't it? Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our first story for today. Every color soup. Now we have a really special holiday coming up. I wonder if you know which holiday that is. It's going to be on a Thursday next week. Do you know? Do you know? Can you shout it? Thanksgiving Day. Yes, yes, yes. So in celebration of Thanksgiving Day, since I will be closed, the library will be closed, I, I will not be here to do a story time. So I thought, let's enjoy a story called Every Color Soup. And this story is written by Jory Hurley, and he also did the illustrations. Ooh, and we read this book with, for you with permissions by... Simon and Schuster, for this is a Paula Weisman book, Books for Young Readers, Every Color Soup by Jory Hurley. Let's pay attention. We have some beautiful colors here in our story. What color is this? Can you tell me? Oh, great green power. You got it, red. What about the shape? What shape does it make? It goes round and round and round. What shape is that? Boy, you had some breakfast this morning. Good job. Yep, a circle. We have some other colors that are the leaves, right? So we can see that tomatoes are growing in this garden. But we also see some purple in the back, don't we? Let's find out what that purple is. All right. We are making every color soup. They have a chopping board here and a knife. What is this, boys and girls? Do you know what this big thing is? Look how huge it is. And we'll need a large, what is this? You, yes, 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 a pot, a pot. And then we have a spoon, a wooden spoon. So, so far they have the chopping board, a knife, and a spoon and a very large pot. What color is our pot? You got it, blue. In Espanol, how do you say blue? In Spanish, can you use some super duper brain power? Think, 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 think. Do you remember? Azul! Great job, Sophia, great job. Brain power, brain power. All right, now turn the page here. This is a new book, so the page is a little bit difficult to turn. Purple, purpura, purple. Do you remember in the garden there was something purple? Here it is, boys and girls. Do you know what this is? Do you know? Do you have any idea? Some of you might know. You might eat it quite a bit. Eggplant. It's called eggplant. Look at this. What color is this, boys and girls? We have two vegetables that are the color yellow. We have one, show me the number one, onion, and two, show me number two, wiggle those fingers, two is corn. <gasps> That's a big ear of corn, isn't it? That's humongous. That's perfect for a soup. Do you know how to say yellow in Spanish? Muy bien, very good. Amarillo. Can you say that? Amarillo. <gasps> Boys and girls, what do we have here now? We have some more vegetables. And what color are they? Orange. Right. Nice, beautiful orange. And how many do we have? Let's count. One, two, three. There are three carrots. Very good. 
zanahorias, zanahoria. But they're not just orange, boys and girls. There's a little bit of, what color is that? Green, yes, green. Verde, verde, anaranjado, anaranjado, orange, anaranjado, green, verde. Ooh, you guys are having such great green color going on right now. Look at this. We have the color white. We have some salt, a salt shaker here with salt inside, and that's the color white. And we have one, count with me, two, three garlic cloves. Uno, dos, tres. That will go in the soup. Add some salt too. <gasps> Remember in our garden they were growing so many red tomatoes. Tomato, tomates, right? Oh, and garlic is ajo in Spanish. Ajo. One tomato, two tomato, three tomato, four. One more makes five. Very good, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We have five tomatoes for our soup. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Tomates, tomatoes, tomates. What color are they again, boys and girls? These tomatoes that are going in our soup are the color red. Red, 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 with a little bit of green on top, right? They have a little bit of green on top. Verde. Ooh, look at this, boys and girls. What color do we have now? We have the color green. Again, verde. This is a lighter green, right? And this is a darker green. But what vegetable do we have here? Do you know, do you know what that is? It's great with peanut butter and raisins. It's great in tuna salad. It's great in potato salad or as a soup. Celery, celery, apio, apio in Spanish, apio. And then we have some leaves here, right there. Green leaves, that might be parsley actually. I'm not sure. Now we have some measuring cups that are clear, clear, clear. One cup, one cup, one cup. Do you see the liquid inside? We have, how many cups do we have? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to count. You ready to count? One cup, two cups, three cups, four cups, five cups, and you Five and six. Can you do five and six for me? Hold the number six for me. Seven. Hold seven fingers for me. Eight. Eight cups of water. And water is clear, so that's what we have inside here. Eight cups of water will be going into our soup. Ocho tazas de agua. Next we need for our soup is something somewhat round, somewhat, and it's the color brown, and it looks like, what does it look like? This is a potato, una papa. Oh, we have these things right here. Have you ever had those before? They come, they come in brown. Mushrooms, let's count our mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five, oh, you're gonna have to help me, six, and seven. Can you hold up the number seven? Oh, good job, good job, good job. Siete, seven mushrooms, siete mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, two, six, seven. In Espanol, ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Oh, look at that, you're, getting, you're not learning another language but you're learning how to make a soup. So much fun. One potato. All right, now we have a jar filled with lentils. That's a type of beans. A nice big
big jar of lentils to see. And this color is blue, kind of a darker blue. Red and blue all together. Lentils. One big jar of lentils, it looks like. Ooh, what color is this? Yes, a shoe! Oh my goodness, you know what that is? That's pepper. If you breathe too much pepper, it will make you sneeze. This is black pepper. I'm gonna shake it. Shake a little bit in there. You need some pepper for your soup. Now it's time to chop, boys and girls. Remember at the beginning of our store, we had a knife and we had a cutting board. So here's our cutting board here, and there's our tomatoes, and it's time to chop. Can you help the mommy in this story chop? Come on. You gotta chop the tomato. You gotta chop the potato. What else do you have to chop? Do you remember in our story? What else did we have as a vegetable? The eggplant, very good. What else did we have? We had celery, right? Chop that up. Maybe crush a little bit of the garlic cloves. Oh my goodness, so much chopping. Is there anything we forgot? Is there anything we forgot? Don't forget the onion, chop it up. But you gotta be careful because an onion will make you to cry. You chop that fast. Oh my goodness, so much. All right, now the grown-up does the chopping, right? But you can help maybe put it in the pot. All the ingredients, you drop them into the pot. There we go. The carrots, you gotta chop those carrots. You don't have to chop those carrots. Chop, 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 chop. There they go. Lots of carrots. Ooh, mom's got the spoon and she's just stirring it all in. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Mix it, mix it, and mix it. Ooh, I get to change this the way this book is read. Now, look at that. We have our bubbling pot. Now, this is where your grown up will help put it on the pot. Turn on the flame, and it begins to bubble. And then the smell. The steam has the smell of all those ingredients. We have salt and pepper carrots and corn. Do you remember the corn? Mm. Look now, boys and girls, the soup is done. And look how colorful that is. And it's yum, yum, yum. You set it in the table, you have your nice big bowl of soup and a spoon. Yum, yum, yum. And that is the end of that. And at the end of this story, boys and girls, is a description of all the vegetables that were used for our story. So again, purple was the eggplant, the tomatoes, and carrots, and celery. And yes, that was parsley, the green part here. That was parsley, your corn and your garlic, your mushrooms and your potato and your onion and your lentils, your pepper and your salt, and your broth or water. And here is the recipe to make your very own every color soup. Maybe a great idea for Thanksgiving, you think? All right, and that is the end of that. Every color soup by Jory Curry. Isn't that a great story? Now this book is available here at the Palm Springs Public Library. It is one of our newer books. And check it out. All right. Now, I have, if you can see here, many of my friends that I've been bringing to story time, but this is a new friend, but you might recognize him. This is Arthur. He has a lot of books here at the library. He goes on a lot of adventures with his friend Buster. His stories are written by Mark Brown. <gasps> these two friends, do any of you recognize these two friends? <gasps> oh my goodness, they have such funny stories. This is Piggy and this is Elephant. And they have so many wonderful
wonderful stories I want to share with you. Their stories are written by Mo Willems, and Mo Willems also does the artwork. <gasps> oh, what? What? Another friend? More friends? <gasps> Mo Willem has many other characters that he writes stories about, and we're going to find them. Where are they, Phoebe? <gasps> oh, yes, an elephant? Where? Where? <gasps> oh, yes, there they are. Mo Willems has another character. He has many adventures as well. And, oh my goodness, guys. Oh, pigeon! Don't let the pigeon drive the bus! Oh my goodness, you know who's missing is duckling. I love duckling. Pigeon has many stories too. And he has a little friend named duckling. He has some really funny stories. So, I'm asking you to check out Mo Willems, his characters, Piggy and Elephant and Pigeon and Uncle Bunny, and a lot, lot more here at the Palm Springs Public Library, ready for you to check them out. Try our library of GoGo -Go and select your stories today. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put you back down in here. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at these ears, they're so floppy. I don't know if I can get Piggy to sit back up. Maybe not. We'll see. What? <gasps> Yay! Piggy's sitting down. And we're going to put Pigeon back on Alyssa the Unicorn. You remember Alyssa? Alyssa's our beautiful unicorn. You can see her little horn there. She's got a beautiful white mane. And she's a very good listener. And she just wanted to wish you also a fat, happy Thanksgiving. All right, Pigeon, you can ride back. Wait, then listen back to it. All right. Oh, he fell down. Yikes. <laughs> you need to stay put. Again, ride on the list of your stone. Stay on her back. All right. And I have one more character. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember a little cow? Ooh. Let's sing a song. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. An honest farm he had a cow. We don't have a name for this cow. Maybe you can send one to me. Give me an idea. E-I-E-I-O. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here, moo, there, moo, everywhere. Oh, oh, McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm, he had an elephant. <gasps> yes. Let's go, Gerald. E-I-E-I-O. With a here. And a woo, there, here, a, woo, there, a, woo, everywhere. Woo. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Good job, Gerald. <coughs> and on his farm, he had. Oh, Piggy! <coughs> With an oink oink here, and an oink oink there, here, an oink, there, an oink, everywhere, an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, ah, look, we have a lamb. Whoop, a sheep. <laughs> Gerald did a couple of flips there. E-I-E-I-O, with a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there, here, ba, there, ba, everywhere, ba-ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. All right. Now, our next story we have, Perfect Thanks for Thanksgiving. Written by Julie Marks and illustrated by Doris Barrett. And we read this story with permissions. Let me just show you the cover real quick. <clears throat> we read this story with permissions from Harper Collins Publishers. And as you can see here, a family is sitting together to listen to a story. 
And there's a dedication to my amazing mother, Diana, for whom I am very thankful. And that is from the author, <clears throat> Julie Marks. And Doris Barrett has a dedication to my parents, Cecile and Gerald, from Doris Barrett. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Look at this. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it looks delicious. We have a little girl sneaking some donuts. We have a little boy over here getting things ready at the table. We have a dog. Look at this. I bet you he's waiting for some scraps. <laughs> and mommy is busy baking the pies. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Yes, enjoy the weather outside, boys and girls. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Play in the leaves too. They're having fun. Oh, look at this. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Says this little girl. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They're reading stories and making things and using imagination. Thank you for music and dancing and art. Oh, boys and girls, this is the perfect time to do all those things at home. Look at this beautiful ballerina and the baby's playing with some toys and mother's enjoying a nice book on the sofa while listening to her son play the violin. And we have some toys and a kitty enjoying the music too. So much fun, so much fun. Thank you for play dates. Oh, that's important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For swings and for slides. Thank you for hopscotch and piggyback rides. Oh, isn't that a great big brother? Giving another little brother a ride and also a cute little teddy bear too. Oh. Here, apples. Yes, apple pie, right? You can make some apple pie with those apples and applesauce. Apple butter, all of it all good. So they've gone to an orchard to pick apples. There's mama. Thanks for sweet puppies and soft furry cats. Oh, boys and girls, look at those beautiful animals. And you can see the animals feel all the love from their family. They're very loved. Look, there's even a little puppy right here that the little boy is trying to catch. He's got to be quick. Thank you for dress up, red shoes, and big hats. Oh, and lots of beads. It's fun playing dress up. A lot of fun. It could be a big mess too, but fun. Oh, thanks for umbrellas, for rain books and puddles. Have you ever stomped in a puddle, boys and girls? That can be fun. Just make sure you have your rain boots on. There we go. The kitty doesn't seem to like the rain very much, does he? Oh, look at this. Not only is there rain, but there are frogs. How many frogs do you see in the story? How many frogs do you see? Let's count. One frog, two frogs, three frogs, four, and one more makes five. Five green frogs. I 
guess they don't like to bring much either. Thank you for mommy and warm, cozy cuddles. Oh, look at that. Baby and brother and big brother and sister all enjoying a story read by mommy. Maybe the animals are listening too. Even a mouse! <laughs> oh, look at this now. Look at this. The season has changed. Remember at the beginning of our story, there are leaves on the ground. Now we have some white stuff. And you can make a man out of this white stuff. What season is it now? Do you know? And it begins to snow. Snow. Winter. And this is, what is that? A snowman. A snowman. Hey, what are they using for a nose? Is that a vegetable? It sure is. It's a carrot. Long carrot for the nose. Thank you for Daddy and rides on a sled. Look at this. Daddy's got all the kids to this time. He's helping the kids making snowmans and they're going sledding. There's another snowman way over there. Look at those smiles. That must be fun. Thank you for kisses and tucks into bed. Well, boys and girls, it's nighttime now. They've had a full day and it's time to go to bed. Thanks for the moon and the stars up above. See the little girl, she's looking at the moon. But most of all, thanks for the family I love. It's Thanksgiving Day and boy, what a feast. So many delicious things to eat. A place to write our thankful thoughts year after year. So this is a page you had this story in your own library collection, you could write what you were thankful for. And the end, happy Thanksgiving. And that is the end of that. Thanks for Thanksgiving, written by Julie Marks and illustrated by Doris Barrett. This book and many other books about Thanksgiving are available here at the Palm Springs Public Library. Check them out. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, what do we have here? In our story, we had something red where the boys and girls were going to pick apples. Yes. Uh oh, boys and girls, what's in here? What is that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm Wilbur the Worm. This is my home.
made out of plastic pony beads and pipe cleaners. And this is available for you here at the Palm Springs Public Library through our website. Our craft along program, you can go to our event calendar, find the date that we have uh, launched the video, watch the video, and then you can make an appointment to come and pick up your little kits, which are in a bag like this filled with the pipe cleaners and pony beads. You can pick them up while supplies last. And they're really cute. They'd be really cute for the Thanksgiving table. All right, so pick yours up today. All right, boys and girls, we're gonna go ahead and transition to read stories in Espanol. I'm gonna be reading some story, a story to you in Espanol. Dice 
dice Amelia Orgullosa. Luego de un pequeño giro y sus palmas de volantes fruncidos se menea. Ay, mira nomás, qué bonito. Preciosa, ¿verdad? Ay, aquí son las sandales también que pone. El rojo envuelva sus caderas como chiles picantes. Aquí ves el fondo, en la falda rojo. Aquí arriba. El primero. El amarillo. ¿Recuerdas el amarillo? Yellow. Amarillo. El amarillo se arrolmolina a la altura de sus rodillas como un mar de maíz. Aquí la ves aquí. Amarillo. ¿Ves los pollitos? ¿Cuántos pollitos ves? A ver. ¿Cuántos pollitos ves? A ver, vamos a poner. Uno, dos, tres pollitos. Muy bien. En inglés, a ver. Uno, one, dos, two, tres, three. Three pollitos. El blanco rodea sus pies como una banda de gaviotas blancas. No se olviden que ella vivía en una isla. Entonces, donde hay una isla, ahí está el mar. ¿Y dónde está el mar? ¿Ves? Las gaviotas blancas. ¿Quieres contar las gaviotas? A ver, ¿puedes? A ver, vamos a empezar. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. A ver, ayúdame con el seis. Seis, siete, ocho. 9, 10, a ver, los dos manos, 5 y 10, ¿verdad? Los dos juntos, 10 deditos deben de tener para las gaviotas blancas. Muy bien. Cuando mamá ve a Amelia luciendo tan bella, dice, ¡Ah, ¡Magnífico! Y coloca una jardinia entre los cabellos de su hija. ¿Ves? Ahí está la cardenia, la flor cardenia. Uy, uh, huele tan bonito también. Luego, de la mano, caminan hacia la nueva escuela. ¿Recuerdas que Damelia es una nueva alumna en la escuela? Amelia entra al salón de clase, mira al salón de un vistazo y de repente se siente tonta, como un pollo loco. ¡Ay! ¿Qué pasa? Se preguntó. ¡Oh! Soy la única vestida para la ocasión. ¿Tú, ¿Tú crees que se olvidaron los otros alumnos? Mm, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Desde el otro asiento, Parvati pregunta, ¿Qué trajiste? ¿Qué trajiste? ¿Qué, ¿Qué traje? Contesta Amelia, produciendo diseño. Mi vestido de fiesta. Eso, traje. No. Quiero decir, ¿qué trajiste para la canasta de muestra y cuenta? No comprendo, dice Amelia en voz baja. No entendió, no entendió. Parvati señala al escritorio de la maestra. ¿Ves? Aquí está. Y Amelia ve una canasta repleta de objetos especiales. En un nido de paja está el elefante de barro que Parvati trajo de la India. El camión, aquí está, el camión de mollo hecho a mano. Y la cometa de Akio en forma de trampa. 
Y a ver todos los artículos que trajeron los otros son niños de las salón y lo pusieron en la canasta ahora se, su vestido de fiesta ya no lo usa tan especial no lo puede colocar en la canasta ni hacerlo circular por la clase para que lo toquen los demás como los otros magníficos juguetes caramba suspira Amelia quiero volver a casa de repente escucha a la señora Jenner que la llama con fervura ay esto es un gran error no traje nada para la hora de muestra y cuenta ay tiene mucha pena verdad a ver qué pasa, a ver. De pie frente a todos y con las manos vacías, Amelia se queda paralizada. Amelia, dice la maestra suavemente, cuéntanos de tu hermoso vestido. Pero Amelia no puede decirle nada. A la clase sobre su vestido de fiesta con uno dos tres finas faldas a ver uno dos tres finas faldas mira la maestra se muy muy contenta muy feliz verdad a ver qué dice Amelia Amelia comienza a alejarse cuando de repente su fala susurra y despierta sus sentidos. Amelia recuerda las brisas tropicales y sus ruidos. Las brisas tropicales que hacen mañar las palmas. Recobra su voz y tiene algo que decir. La 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 bamba, la 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 bamba. La 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 bamba, la bamba, la bamba, la 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 bamba. Canta Amelia. En mi isla querida, amamos las fiestas. Y nota que las garras curiosas le miran con sorpresa. Amamos las fiestas con bailes en las calles. La 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 bamba, la 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 bamba. La, 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 bamba, la, bamba, la, bamba, oh, morena. Y shush, Amelia muestra sus ruidos faldas, meñando una samba, girando en un tango, danzando una rumba. ¡Ay! Todos escuchan el meneo de las faldas de Amelia. Comiencen a gritar, ¡Viva! 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 Y aquí mismo, en América, Amelia se siente en casa. Y esto es el fin del cuento. Este libro está disponible aquí en la biblioteca de Palm Springs. El libro Amelia y la fiesta de muestra y cuenta por Pimi Chapra y Marta Aviles. Te lo prestamos. Estos es libros y muchos más. No se olviden a llamar a la biblioteca de Palm Springs, 760-322-7323, para poder prestarte libros. Es muy fácil. Más llámanos. O si quieres ir a nuestra página web www.palmspringslibrary.org o RG para pedir libros y más. ¿Ok? Nos vemos. Feliz día de gracias. Que le pasen muy bien. Happy Thanksgiving.